Are you thinking about moving to Mooresville, North Carolina? There's a lot of talk about the pros and the cons of living here, so let's sort out the facts from the fiction. Stay with me until the end to uncover a truth about Mooresville that you won't hear anywhere else. Hey friends, Noah Jenkins here with Noah Jenkins Group and Keller Williams Realty, and I help people just like you move to the Charlotte, North Carolina area from all over the country. Whether you're looking to move in nine days or nine months, call, text, or email me. I love where I live and want you to love where you live, so stick around and don't forget to smash that subscribe, like button, and the bell notification to see all of my upcoming videos on all things Charlotte and Lake Norman. So let's jump into the pros and the cons of living in Mooresville, North Carolina. So today we are starting out with the pros list and first up on the pros list is you're gonna see all four seasons here. So you're gonna see spring, summer, fall, and winter and you're gonna see all four in order. Also in winter, snow is very rare. So in Mooresville, North Carolina, the average annual snowfall is right around just under four inches. So if you live in a place where you have snow plows and all the stuff to get rid of the snow, just get rid of that equipment because you're not gonna really need it here. But one thing to note about snow here when we do have it in the short times that we do have it, the town is going to completely shut down. So towns and cities in these areas don't really have the equipment to get rid of the snow. So you're not really going to be going places when it's snowy outside. The roads do get super bad, so schools are gonna shut down. They may move to the virtual option you know since we have that option with covid again when it snows here don't plan to go anywhere it's going to shut down another aspect about the weather is when it's raining people can't drive take that as you will but i will say for the most part people are good drivers you have the one off and the two off of people that have just really super bad road rage but just in general overall you're going to see all four seasons Fall is my absolute favorite because of the beautiful leaves on the trees. Number two on the pros list is the entertainment aspect. So there's two very popular attractions in the area or in the Mooresville area. So you're gonna see Lazy Five Ranch, which is a almost like a zoo. So you can drive through it in your own car or you can hop on one of their carriage rides. You'll buy a little bucket of feed and the animals will come up to you and they'll eat out of your bucket. So you're gonna see zebra, you're gonna see hippos. I mean, everything that you would see in a normal zoo, but this is a privately owned ranch, of course, that you can drive through, like I said, but it's super fun. If you have kids, definitely take them here. They're gonna absolutely love it. You're gonna see giraffes and monkeys and birds and. There's just tons of things to see here, but it does get super busy during the summer. Traffic is gonna be pretty bad on the road where you come into Lazy Five, but it's a super, super fun place to go to, so I'd highly recommend you check that out. The second attraction in the Mooresville area is Kerrigan Farms. Kerrigan Farms, again, is a locally owned place, but it's not a zoo. During the year, they have tons of things to do, so in the summer, they're going to have a sort of like a spring that you can swim in. You can jump off rocks into the spring. It's a really fun place to go. In the fall, they're gonna have a pumpkin patch so you can go there and you can pick out your pumpkins to carve. Year round, they have wedding options so you can book their venue for weddings or corporate events. And then right around that Halloween time when you go pick your pumpkins, you can also go through their Scarrigan Farms. So they decorate it for Halloween. They have a haunted trail that you can go through. So it's a super fun place and definitely recommend you check it out any time of the year. Third on our pros list is Lake Norman. So I would say the main attraction in this area is Lake Norman and that's why tons of people move here every single day. So there's plenty of public boat launches. You can do anything that you want to. There's also places that you can rent boats. So you can rent a pontoon for the day. You can rent jet skis or anything like that to just really enjoy the lake because I will say it does get really hot and humid here in the summer. So planning a lake day will definitely cool you off and it'll just be a super fun day for you and the family. 
Fourth up on our pros list is if you're a foodie, you're going to love the Mooresville area. We have a very diverse food options all the way from chains that you kind of see all over the South or even all over the country. But you're also going to see a lot of locally owned places that you can go and eat at. Highly recommend you check out Big Daddy's. They have some really great oysters. If you like oysters, just a ton of great options for you to go and check out. Fifth up on our pros list is the schools in the area. So overall, the niche.com grade for schools in Mooresville is an A. Also something to keep in mind is that the schools in Mooresville are ranked the number nine best school district in North Carolina. Hey, I think that's pretty good. I will say though, if you have kids, I would highly recommend kind of researching the schools in the area to kind of get a general feel for what area or district you want to be in for a certain elementary, middle, or high school. So there's, you know, a good many schools in the area. So if you want to be in a particular one, I would definitely recommend just checking out schools in that area. Sixth up on our pros list for Mooresville, North Carolina is the job market. So you're going to see a big corporate sector in Mooresville. So we have, and we are home to the Lowe's headquarters. So, you know, the Lowe's home improvement that you see, the headquarters of Lowe's is in Mooresville, North Carolina. It's also very convenient to the surrounding cities. So Charlotte is known as the Wall Street of the South. It's also the number two banking capital of the country. So you're gonna have easy convenience to get to Charlotte. Number seven, and last but not least on our pros list is the cost of living here. So the cost of living overall in Mooresville is 98.6% which is about 1.4% lower than the US average. We'll jump into a little bit uh, more details of the cost of living in the con section. So jumping into the cons of living in Mooresville, North Carolina, number one is our hot summers and the unpredictable weather here. So as I mentioned earlier in the video, we're gonna have hot and very humid summers. So it's not as bad as like Florida weather, where as soon as you walk outside, you're instantly drenched in sweat but it is relatively similar to that. So if you're used to Arizona or Colorado weather, it is a completely different animal here. On the unpredictable weather side, if it says it's not gonna rain, there's a high chance that it is gonna rain. If it says that it is gonna rain, there's a high chance that it's not gonna rain. So it's very unpredictable. Number two on our cons list is the traffic. So as I mentioned, Mooresville is super close to a lot of the surrounding cities and it's close to Charlotte. So you're going to see a ton of traffic. So on 150, that's kind of leading from Cheryl's Ford into Mooresville, you're going to see a ton of traffic. It used to be just during your rush hours, like your morning rush hour and your afternoon rush hour. I personally noticed it lately it just being all day long. So as we see more and more people move into the area, the infrastructure can't keep up with it. And so, you know, 150 has gotten bad pretty much all day long. Another one is 77. The regular lanes of 77 are constantly filled with traffic, but a ninja trick to get rid of all the traffic is to get into the toll lane. So the toll lane goes super quick. Of course, you're gonna pay for it. And then as you're trying to merge off to get off at your exit, you're gonna get into a little traffic, but it definitely saves you a good bit of time if you get in the toll lane. Number three, and last but not least, on our cons list is the housing market. So a lot of what I'm talking about for the rest of this section is stats from July 2024 and beyond that. So the average days on market in Mooresville is 36, which means from the day the house goes active, you're going to see about 36 days before that house goes under contract and it's basically taken. So my recommendation there is if you see a house that you want and that you like, go look at it, be one of the first ones to get in there and be the first one to put an offer in on the house if you really, really like it. The next thing about the housing market in Mooresville is that currently we are at two and a half months of inventory. And basically what this means is if no new houses hit the market, the current demand stays the same, how long will it take for our current inventory to deplete? And that number in Mooresville is two and a half months. So what I like to say is anything between zero to three months is a seller's market. Three to six months is kind of a neutral market and then six months plus is a buyer's market. So right now we're kind of at the high end of a seller's market. 
The next two stats that we're looking at is the average and the median home sales price in 2024. So first up is the average number, which is $689,000. The median home price in Mooresville is $482,000. So kind of comparing these two numbers, of course, average is gonna be higher because it's bringing in those super high home sales of homes that are on the lake, the crazy huge estates that sell for multi-million dollars. And then the median is kind of taking out those outliers and kind of just going based on the direct middle. So to compare the Mooresville median of 482,000, the median in the US for Q2 of 2024 is $412,300. So that's about a $70,000 difference comparing the Mooresville numbers to the overall median in the United States. So the con here is that homes sell quick and home sale at a higher price than the US average. So overall, you can see that there are a ton more pros than there is cons of living in Mooresville, but some of the cons may be deal breakers for you. Again, I love where I live and want you to love where you live. So if you found this video helpful, check out all of my other videos about moving to and living in the Lake Norman area. If you're considering selling or making a move to Mooresville or any of the surrounding cities, I would love to talk to you. Call, text, or email me today to buy or sell strategically. And don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and bell notification. Bye for now.